All right. So today I'm joined by Dylan, the mindless Hulk Budka, ahead of his UFC debut against Caesar Almeida on April 6th. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing good, bro. Uh, it's good to be back on Perry Punch. I'm glad to see you again, bro. Yeah, man. I'm happy to have you on here. And it's been a minute uh, yeah. as far as waiting on that announcement goes. How's it been just over the last like four months or so, five months? I've uh, just been trying to stay ready. Uh, it's been I've been impatient, um, but uh, just keeping keeping the motivation there. My coaches have done a good job keeping my motivation up. Uh, it's hard to stay motivated without a fight. It's not to eat the nasty stuff and uh, grub out a little bit, but they've done a good job keeping my head straight. My manager, everybody around me has, and uh, I'm ready to show the world what I can do on April 6th. Okay, and just to kind of set the tone as far as like what you've been dealing with, I don't know personally, but you kind of like open the door for it a little bit. Have, has it been hard for you? You've been struggling a little bit like mentally as far as like just kind of maybe getting a little irritated at times and your coaches are kind of bringing you down and leveling out your head a little bit. Oh yeah. 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 From going, going from fighting uh four to five times a year, to nothing in the last six, seven months. It, it was definitely different. Uh, keeping my mind straight and uh, not falling into just getting fat and staying out of shape. But like, uh they've been on my they've stayed on me they've made sure i've been doing the right things and keeping my head right uh even though everybody's saying it's a short notice fight i train every day every single day three day three times a day two times on the weekend sometimes three times on the weekend isn't it ain't a short notice fight for me I, i've been training i'm in shape and i'm ready to perform for everybody okay hell yeah so staying ready that cardio is on point right now you don't have to put in any extra work you already been doing it oh yeah i could go five rounds right now if i needed to okay hell yeah um, last thing about kind of like the last few months, you had a fight booked like last month, right? You even like messaged me, told me you had something that was almost like official, but it, it seemed to not work out. What was the deal with that? Can you say anything about it? Um, it was just I uh, couldn't they couldn't really get uh, all the stuff in for the fight and uh, the doctor couldn't get me in there. And uh, I had a, a injury from a past fight that popped up and the doctor didn't pass me through. So it was just little things that didn't allow it to happen. I was ready to go. I was on wait. I was so excited. I was talking to Mick before we got that done and um, it just didn't fall through, but it's it, everything happens for a reason. God makes things happen for a reason. And now we're about to do it on April 6th. I wish I could have performed that night. Uh, I seen the fight and I wasn't impressed with either of the guys that I was supposed, supposed to get in there with, or the guy I was supposed to fight or his opponent. So I was excited and uh, I didn't fall through, but I just kept, kept my head straight. My coaches kept it straight. And, um, you know, we're just ready to do it now. Yes, sir. Can you say who it was at all or what? Uh, it was uh the Polish guy that boxed that night. Uh, I forget his name. Um, it, it was uh it was on the UFC fight night. It was um I forget his name, but he was a Polish boxer and he was supposed to go against uh somebody. Else. He had three backouts and I was supposed to fight him, but I forget his name. But okay, I'll try yeah. to like look him up and see who it was. Yeah. I'll try to do some research on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the only middleweight on the card. 